Welcome to the Open Dental webinar on ERA processing. Today we're going to go through the steps on how to process ERAs. Now in our new version of 21.3, we have made some improvements in the way that you can process ERAs. We, we now have three modes for processing. If we come up here to the setup and then the manage module and the manage preferences. Here in the manage preferences, you can see that we have the ERA automation setting toward the bottom. We have three settings. We have a review all, which is a manual way to process the ERAs. We have semi-automatic, which is a, an easier, faster way. And then we have fully automatic, which does everything for you. It's the easiest way to process them. So first, let's talk about the review all or the, the manual way to process the ERAs. When we're getting ready to process ERAs, we're going to go to the Manage module and then ERAs. If we don't have any ERAs here, we may have to uh, retrieve them. So I'm going to close out of here. We can go up to our Send Claims. And we may have to get the ERAs by clicking the Get Reports, and then we can retrieve them from our clearinghouse. In this case, I can see that I have successfully retrieved an ERA. I'm going to close out of this window, and let's go back to my ERAs. I can see I have the, uh, the ERA here. Notice how it has a status of unprocessed. So to manually process the ERA, I'm going to double click into the ERA. If you need to change the date range, you can change parameters up here. But let's go ahead and double click into the ERA. Now I can see the attached claim payments. I'm going to double click on one of the claim payments. And then I'm going to verify the amount here make sure that this is correct, and click OK. Notice when I do that, the, the Open Dental marks this claim as received, and I'm just going to continue up the line, making sure that I have all the payments correct. Once I have all the claims marked as received, then I can click Finalize the Payment. Once I finalize the payment, you'll notice that the ERA drops out of this window. I can still find it if I select a status of Finalized. There it is. All right. Um, let me show you the method for the semi-auto. To receive claims um, using the semi-auto mode, we're going to come up here to the setup, and then we'll drop down to the manage and manage preferences. We'll set the ERA automation to semi-automatic. And we'll click OK. Now we'll go to our ERAs. In the ERA window, we'll double click on an ERA to see the claim payments attached. In this, case, in this case, all we need to do is click the auto process. This will receive all the claims associated with the ERA and finalize the payment. If there are any errors, they will be listed. If I refresh, you'll notice that this ERA drops out of this window, but I can still find it in the final, finalize window. Let's talk now about how to receive them under the fully auto mode. To receive the ERAs in fully auto mode, I'm going to go up to the setup again 
and we're going to go to the Manage and Manage Preferences. We'll set the ERA automation to be fully automatic. Click OK. Let's retrieve any ERAs that we may need. I can see that we have received one here. Let's go to the ERA window. If I click on finalized, you'll see that Open Dental automatically received that ERA and process it. If I double click into it, I can view the ERA if needed. If any ERA fails to auto process, you could double click into them on the electronic EOB window and click the auto process button. Here's an example of that. If we go to the ERA window, and we find that this ERA failed to process automatically. Let's double click into it. And now we're going to click the auto process button. And I can see I have an error message. In this case, I'm going to right click on the claim, go to the account. This one I'm going to have to receive by procedure manually. In this case, this claim was denied and the insurance paid zero. Now we can go back to the ERA. Let's refresh. And you can see all my claims have X's next to them. And now I can go ahead and click Finalize. When I do that, the ERA drops out of this window, but I can find it in the Finalized window. When you are processing ERAs in fully automatic, there's a lot of things that are happening behind the scenes. Uh, so this is what the automatic ERA processing does. It, it matches claims from the database to claims on the ERA, and it will also reassociate claims that were manually detached from an ERA using the Detached Claim button. It's going to apply the payment for the claim to the insurance plan payment if there's only one valid payment plan for the claim. However, if there's multiple valid payment plans that are found, the claim must be processed manually so that a payment plan may, can be chosen by the user. It'll create claim snapshots if they are enabled. It'll attempt to process as many claims as possible. Uh, if an error is encountered while processing only one claim on an ERA, the system will receive the other claim and leave the ERA in a partially processed state without attempting the, the creation of the batched insurance payment. You can also leave an ERA in a not, un, not finalized state if all the claims are processed, but maybe an error was encountered when attempting to make the batch insurance payment. Um, if the errors are fixed and auto processing is attempted again, then the system will skip any claims that have already been processed. Automatic processing will enter the initial payments, supplemental payments, reversals, and preauthorizations. Claims and claim procedures will have their status changed appropriately and the date received will be updated. It'll create a batch insurance payment for an ERA. It'll have the carrier name, the check number, the type, the amount, and the clinic will be filled in. The payment date will also be set to the date that it was auto-processed.
It'll also create an auto deposit if the preference insurance payments show auto deposit is checked in the manage module preferences. Now there are some things that automatic ERA processing does not do. Um, for example, it is not going to set the allowed override for claim procs or update the allowed fee schedules. And it's also not going to prompt the user to handle the secondary claims when you have the prompt for secondary claims checked in the account module preferences. So just to recap, we have three modes of processing ERAs now in Open Dental. That would be the review all, which is the manual method, the semi-auto, which is easier, and the full auto, which is the easiest. We also discussed what the auto processing will and will not do. Thank you for listening to this webinar on processing ERAs from Open Dental. Thank you for joining us for today's webinar. If you have additional questions, please call our support line at 503-363-5432 or access our complete online manual at opendental.com. And to make sure you're staying up to date on our latest training videos, make sure you subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications.